Did you ever ask yourself why in our daily life we see the three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas? And also, why the weather sometimes hot and sometimes cold? So let's ask some people. Because there's no clouds, so the, the temperature escapes. Uh, I think because in winter, uh, in summer the temperature is high, it's not like winter. Uh, and also to move from the solid state to uh, the liquid state, you, you, need, you should give more uh, heat. I think it's also because of the wind, which is coming from the ocean. Almost all people gave the same answer. It's temperature. So what is temperature? Mm, temperature? To this question, let's talk about matter. Matter is everything that has mass. Stars, clothes, sounds, and you. All of us consist of atoms. Huge number of atoms. Just one single drop of water consists of more than 600 quintillion atoms. This iron is not mixed, it's vibrating. To make things clear, let's do this experiment. Water consists of molecules H2O, which means each one of them has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. In solid state, ice, the molecules are very close together in an ordered structure and only motion is vibrating. But when it has enough energy, ice becomes a liquid water. The molecules are still close together, vibrating, but also rotate slide past each other in a random fashion. More energy, liquid water evaporates and becomes a gas. The molecules are moving so fast all over the place in a random fashion. So temperature is simply the motion of particles and the distance between them. What we observe in the water experiments is the more the temperature increases, the more volume does. And that gives us the idea why the balloon in the sunlight expands and a cold place contracts. And to measure temperature, there are many units, but Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit are the most popular of them. And of course, water froze in 0 degrees Celsius or boiling in 100 degrees Celsius, it doesn't mean all matter will do. Because evaporation, melting or other change of state doesn't only depend on temperature, but also on the kind of matter. For example, the melting temperature of iron is 1149 degrees Celsius. And the same principle for weather. In summer, sunlight becomes vertical on the north side of Earth, which gives more energy. So the arms on the ear more vibrating. And as we know now, that increases temperature, which makes the weather hot. Vice versa, in winter, the sunlight is diagonal.